Hello everyone. In this session, we will see how to exploit Windows systems without the knowledge of any passwords using a tool called Responder. So for this tutorial, I will be using a lab which I set up and uh, there is a step-by-step -step instructions on how to set this lab up if you're interested in following up with my demo. So there is um, a Windows 12 domain controller and you have a Windows 10 system, you have a Windows 7 system and I also have a Kali hacking box and I also have another system which we will be using as a file server uh, which again is a Windows 2012 system. So using this picture in mind and uh, let's go install the tool which is required to exploit the Windows network. So go to this link which is the responders uh, github repository and um, you can clone the whole repository and uh, let's uh, create a working environment and clone that git file so you should have a directory called responder and you see all the responder file which is this this is the python file we'll be using for this uh, demo and also a couple of um, tools which are in the tools directory so we'll be using this uh, run finger to check and see if smb is disabled on all the target systems uh, which is a requirement for this tool to work and we'll also be using this multi relay to re relay the the hashes that we capture from one system to another target systems. So everything will be clear once we um, go through with the demo. So don't worry if you don't follow anything at this time. So let's go one step foot back and um, and I'll also show you the windows. This is the domain controller and uh, this is the windows 10 systems. Let me find the IP address of the system. So this system is 2016 and the Windows 7 system So this system is currently at um, 192, 168, 1, 2, 10. So this will be the target or the victim system which we will be exploiting using the credentials captured from this Windows 10 systems. So when I mean credentials, uh, we're, not be, um, we're not going to steal the credentials, uh, but we're going to be capturing the hashes of using a technique uh, which I'll be showing shortly. And also, we will, let me go check the server. This is the file server, which I talked about. So this is at uh, sis, uh, 1, 2, 12. And I believe the domain controller is uh, 200. So let's check that as well. So the domain controller is at uh, 1200. So let's, um, let's go and launch responder. using the default comment. So, so basically we are telling the responder to run at each zero, which is the default interface on this uh, whole network. So when responder is running, you can see the different services it's turned on. Um, so LMNR, it's, uh, I, I know it's a mouthful, and NBTNS, so services are turned on and there is a bunch of other services which are turned on by default. So what it does is, um, it does two things. It keeps um, listening to broadcast protocols from other Windows systems to see 
if uh, it can act as a man in the middle to respond to those queries. Um, so the way it works is, so when Windows systems, um, to resolve a domain name to an IP address, it uses something called DNS. And if, if it's not able to resolve a domain name with DNS, it looks up the local host file. And if it is not able to find in the local host file, then it, the Windows system does is it broadcasts all the, uh, to all the systems in the local network saying, hey, I don't know this um, IP address of this domain, uh, can you resolve it for me? So this is where uh, this attacking system comes into play. So since uh, broadcast packets are received by all systems in the network, our Kali Linux box, which is also listening, will respond to those victim system sayings, hey, I am the machine, please send me all the hashes to my box. So this is how typically LLM NR poisoning works. And um, so I will show you how it is able to retrieve the passwords. So let me go to the Windows 10 system. If you type in a known system, then it will typically go to DNS or the local host file. So you want to um, prey on um, something which uh, the user mistypes or some of the services inside the MIS system is looking for something which is not there. So for example, if I type something like a server which is not there on the network, uh, this particular request will go to our attacking box. So if I press enter, and let me go back to the, the Kali box. So as you can see, we received a hash from the 216 box, which is the Windows 10 box. And it receives, uh, it, it gives us the, what is called as the NTLMv2 hash, right? And uh, this hash um, cannot be used in past the hash attacks, uh, but you can use this on John or you can use Hashcat to crack these hashes. So once you crack these hashes, uh, you can try to see if the same passwords are used in different systems, right? So that is one technique you can use uh, whenever you're pen testing Windows environment. The second, uh, the more cool thing you can do is, uh, you can do something called SMB relay. Um, so what that does is, once you get this hash, you pass this hash to another system saying, um, these are the credentials, please authenticate me. So if this particular hash has access to the target system, uh, the system will be glad to and happy to respond to this hash and it will give us, um, uh, give us um, access to the systems. So that is where uh, we are going to be demonstrating in, uh, right now. So let me kill this process for now. And, um, and let's also remove the, the database file because um, if responder receives that um, hashes one time, it will not. It will skip the second time because it already has the hashes. Uh, but um, to show the demo again, I want to start from scratch, so it is better to delete the data, uh, the database file. And uh, let's go to let's create another window here, and let's go to the tools folder, and um, let's run the multi relay. This is the tool which we can use. for relaying all the, um, the hashes. So let's use this particular command. So it is currently listening and then it's ready to relay to any of the servers, right? Um, actually, I'll take that back. Um, we should be changing the target system. So in this case, we'll be targeting the Windows 7 system. So basically, uh, when you get the request from Windows 10 system, I'm telling um, to use this credentials or hashes against the Windows 7 system and see if it works, right? So for, for that, you need to put the, um, the IP address of the Windows 7 system, which in our case is 210. Okay, now it is running and, um, and it is ready to it's, it is waiting for responder uh, to pass the hash to this particular service. So before that, if you watch carefully, it tells us that, that this tool listens on port 80 
three one two eight and four four five. Um, so you need to turn these services on on the responder. Uh, otherwise, there'll be a conflict of services. So let's go to the config file. And let's turn this SMB off and also the HTTP, HTTP. Okay, and now let's um, run the same attack which we did before using Python responder uh, on the default with the default uh, parameters. So, so I'll just move this a bit. So I'm going to run this and I'm going to keep this in focus. And now I'm just going to go to the Windows 10 system and do the same thing. I'm going to try to go to a server which is not in the network. So which will pass the hash to our Kali Linux box, which in turn will relay the, um, the hashes to the Windows 7 systems. Uh, thereby, we, uh, if the exploit is successful, we'll get a shell from the Windows 7 systems. So you can type anything, even the IP address uh, should, should work. Okay, once you do that, let's go back to the Kali box. And if you look here, we got a shell, a command prompt. And if you type the IP address, so it is 210. So if you look here, so we are currently owning a shell on the 210 box, which is the Windows 7 box. So if you think about this, uh, we kind of exploited the whole network uh, without knowing any passwords. And this is uh, one of the most effective techniques uh, used by most pen testers uh, in a Windows environment. And um, I would say 80 to 90% of the time uh, this works uh, because um, this LLMNR protocols uh, is not turned off by default on most Windows networks as uh, it is required uh, for Windows systems to communicate seamlessly uh, with other systems. So this is also really cool. Um, so uh, if, if I go help, this multi-relay tool comes up with a, a bunch of um, a, a minor utilities which you can use. So you can scan the network on slash 24 or slash 16 uh, to find other hosts that are reachable from this network. Uh, but what is cool is you can also dump the password hashes uh, from the systems or even cool is you can use um, something called Mimi coffee, coffee, right? Which is Mimi cats to dump clear text passwords from memory. So let's do this and it's uploading some kind of a binary to the target system and uh, we can do So you can do something called Mimi secure LSA logon passwords. So if you look and see it is dumping all the clear text passwords from the LSAS memory on this Windows 7 box. So in this case I'm using a password called password1 and the user is user and it's the domain Xclaris. And um, if, you, if you keep on using this password on different networks, uh, you can go all the way to the domain admin. Um, uh, you, you can, it is possible to get the domain admin credentials as well. Um, you can also see interesting NTLM SHA-1 hashes, uh, which we can use in uh, pass the hash or pass the ticket kind of attacks, which um, I will show you a little later. So one other thing I wanted to show you is, um, let's exit out. So there is another tool called um, run finger, uh, which is right here. Uh, this is um, this attack works only if SMB is disabled on the target system. So you may want to run this tool uh, before you find a good target systems where SMB is disabled. So let me run on this whole subnet.
So by default, my domain controller um, has SMB signing as true. So this attack won't work against the, uh, the domain controller, uh, but it should work on the Windows 7 and Windows 10, and also the, uh, the Windows 2012 system where SMB turning is, uh, SMB signing is false. So this is a nice little utility uh, which you can use uh, before um, trying to exploit any of the target systems. I think uh, that's uh, that wraps up this session and I uh, hope you had um, um, you got something out of this video and uh, if you are looking into more videos like this uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know and I will be creating more videos along these lines. So thanks for your time everyone.